You are going to watch a video about expert plays. You will see different situations versus different opponents. All hands are really interesting and different than most hands you will watch in other poker videos. All games are 60s, 100s and 200s. I min raise and he calls. I don't know the villain and he's probably a random because I know most regulars. It is a good flop. I'm going to bet to get value of my hand. The board could easily fit in his calling range and he might call with some kind of draw or a weaker pair. I bet and he calls. I expect him to raise a straight 2 pair and top pair because there are many cards that could kill the action on the turn and that's the reason almost all the players raise the seabed. He could have the 9, 7 or an 8 or maybe 2 over cards with a straight draw. King jack and queen jack he would probably raise or raise all in. He checks. It is still unlikely I am beat, unless he has king 9 or queen 9. I bet to get value of weaker pairs and draws. He calls. He makes a big bet on the river. He probably doesn't have a straight because he would have raised a straight and the open enders with overcards on the flop. King Jack and Queen Jack aren't likely holdings for that reason. Because he would raise big hands on the flop it's unlikely he has trips or a full house as well. The only hands that have me beat and that are likely holdings are King 9, Queen 9 and Queen 8. But why would he bet those hands so big? He bets, he bets the hand like he has the nuts. Usually when a player bets like that, he either has the nuts or he has nothing. In this case, it is likely he missed a straight draw. The only hands he could have are king 8 and maybe 8-5 or 8-4 suited. Because weaker starting hands he probably folds and ace-8 he would probably have pushed preflop. These are only a few combinations, but in my opinion it is pretty obvious what he has and I only need around 28% to make the call which means that I only have to win the pot less than 1 out of 3 times I call and he shows king 8